and it has a couple of o-rings that go bad after a while and they start uh, leaking oil onto your exhaust manifold and this is what causes uh, smoke at the startup and uh, oily smells in the cabin this is very very common on these engines Now is also a perfect time to change the seals for your vacuum pump. So this unit here at the back is the vacuum pump that is driven via exhaust camshaft. This provides a vacuum for the brake cylinder and it has a couple of o-rings that go bad after a while and they start uh, leaking oil onto your exhaust manifold and this is what causes uh, smoke at the startup and uh, oily smells in the cabin this is very very common on these engines and since we have uh, the valve cover removed this is a very easy procedure so what we will have to do is uh, remove this uh, plate here we have a couple of uh, t30 torx screws so here and uh, over here and then we can remove this back plate and then we have uh, three 10 millimeter bolts here at the back. You can uh, go with your fingers and try to fill them where they are. You unscrew them and then you can remove the vacuum pump. There is a plastic fastener here. You have to rotate it 90 degrees to undo this cover. Make sure you don't lose it. Now we have to lift this cover up and remove it. Okay, and it's out. So here at the back, there are just a couple of notches that slot onto the chassis and this is what holds the bottom part of this cover in place. I have removed all three bolts, here they are. I first used a 10 millimeter socket and a small ratchet to loosen them and then I used a long 10 millimeter socket to unscrew them all the way out and then I uh, went the rest of the way by hand. Make sure you don't lose the bolts, they are very easy to drop underneath the engine bay and also the same goes for the sockets so when you are doing this be very very careful not to drop anything back there so now that the vacuum pump is released you can pry it out like this and put it on this side of the engine bay where we can work on it so here you can see the first seal that we have to replace. This is this uh, inner seal here. And the other one is hidden beneath this uh, aluminum cover. So we have to remove these bolts here and replace it. I have removed five T25 Torx screws from the back of the vacuum pump. Now I can remove this back plate and uh, I have to clean it up. And here is the seal we have to replace. So I am going to clean up just a little bit. Now I'm going to use a small pick and pry out the seal. Now I'm going to use a piece of paper and a pick and clean out the channel if there is any debris inside. So I'm going to do this a couple of times.
Okay, I'm happy with the results. Make sure that the new gasket fits nicely into the grooves. Do some final cleanup. And now we can put back the back plate. With all the bolts hand tight, we now use our torque wrench and first we have to torque it down to 5 Newton meters. So this is the jointing force. And then we torque it down to 8 Newton meters. Okay, we're done with the inner gasket. Now we have to replace this gasket here. I'm going to use my pick again to remove the old seal. Be careful, make sure you don't damage it. And now we can put in the new seal. Now I'm going to clean the surface, making sure that there's no dirt on the mating surfaces. And we can now reinstall the vacuum pump. When you're putting back the vacuum pump, make sure that it slots together with the exhaust camshaft. So you have to rotate the lever in the right orientation. Okay, so make sure that this slots together. And now we can put back the bolts. It's best if you put them back by hand. Just make sure you don't drop them. Once you have the bolts hand tightened down, torque them to 9 Newton meters.